It's a preemptive way to keep Wyoming's lakes and reservoirs free from aquatic invasive species. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department operates 13 aquatic invasive species check stations along Wyoming's border, plus numerous other locations in the state where watercraft can be checked for invasive species like zebra and quagga mussels. The Evanston I-80 Port of Entry check station is the busiest of them all, checking over 13,000 watercraft last year. That number will be easily passed this year. Jessica Warner is the Game and Fish's regional AIS specialist in the Green River region. We see a lot of traffic coming from Utah, but we also see a lot of traffic that is going throughout the country and coming throughout the country. Traffic is up. People are recreating more this year. Um, we have already done about 13,000 so far this season, and traffic is not slowing down, so I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 14,000 or even more. Any watercraft transported into Wyoming from March 1st through November 30th must be inspected by an authorized inspector before launching. All watercraft must stop at any open watercraft check station on their route of travel, even if not intending to launch in Wyoming. While not found in Wyoming, zebra and quagga mussels are widespread throughout the U.S., including Colorado and Utah, diminishing fisheries, clogging pipes and waterways of municipalities, and damaging boats. They'll get into your impeller, so your cooling intakes. Um, they'll get into your ballast tank system. If you have a houseboat or a cabin cruiser, um, they can get into the intakes for your generators, your AC units. So anything that would be taking up raw water or exposed to raw water runs the risk of becoming infested with the mussels. With summer winding down, regardless of where your boat has been, drain, clean, and dry your boat between trips to help prevent the transfer of any invasive species. Drain all water from everything that comes into contact with water. Drain all live wells and leave compartments open to dry. Clean all plants, mud, and debris from your boat and then dry that boat out for as long as possible. Boats will automatically be decontaminated if it has been on an infested water within the last 30 days. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.